Have you ever asked yourself, why do some organizations succeed while others fail? Well, I've got six reasons why nonprofits fail that I'm going to share with you now. Stay tuned. In the early 1990s, I provided counsel to an organization with a very solid mission provide micro loans to small businesses in third world countries. But the leader, although an expert in the field, knew very little about raising money and managing a nonprofit. He shared with me his five-year plan, which included the goal to double income each year. At that time, the organization was about a year old and had a $100,000 budget. That meant that he planned to go from 100,000 to 200 to 400 to 800 to 1.6 million to 3.2 million in five years. As, a, as visionary as that was, it was also extremely unrealistic based on their level of expertise in fundraising, their current donor base, and strategic plan. From the beginning, they spent as though they were a $3.2 million organization, and within a few years, they no longer existed. A similar thing happened to a social services organization in the Washington, D.C. area. Unrealistic expectations and goals and wildly unreal spending. At one point, the founder hired a man to be the executive director, and that man moved his family from the Midwest to Northern Virginia based solely on the promises of the founder. Within two years, the organization had shut its doors, and the poor man and his family were a thousand miles away from home with no job and no prospects for another position. There are currently over 1.5 million tax-exempt nonprofit organizations in the U.S. Data from National Center on Charitable Statistics reveals that approximately 30% of nonprofits fail to exist after 10 years, and according to Forbes, over half fail or stall within a few years. So why do so many nonprofits fail? Well, some fail to do to leadership issues, while others are related to strategic planning. Or like the examples I gave earlier, a little of both. Today, we're going to address the six ways that nonprofits fail and what you can do to pre prevent them from happening to your organization. Or if they are happening, turn the ship around. Let's begin. Here are the six reasons why nonprofits fail. Reason number one, lack of mission or getting off mission. Many organizations start with a great idea or a problem that needs solving, but never really find their way to a solution to that problem or no defined mission. Others may start with a very clearly defined mission, but somewhere down the line, deviate from that mission, often called mission drift, and lose the focus and direction. That can come as a result of internal forces at play, staff or board or programs move off mission, or externally from similar or competitive groups. Some have been known to get off mission in an effort to gain funding, for example, from the government. Regulations may cause you to have to drop core beliefs or principles. A principle I learned early on was mission dr should drive money. Money should not drive mission. Let me repeat that. Mission should drive money. Money should not drive mission. Organizations shouldn't allow how much money is coming in to drive what's accomplished by the organization. The plan should be created and the staff and the board should raise the money to fund the plan. In an article, Why Nonprofits Fail, Tracy Ebarb states, leaders often cannot seem to stop themselves from seeing every need as a call. The result is too many directions, no mission clarity, diffused expertise, and donor confusion. Reason number two, poor strategic planning. Even the best organizations can have poor strategic planning. The lack of a strategic plan is bad, but a poor plan can be worse. A lack of clearly defined goals and objectives can lead to unrealistic expectations, and that can lead to diminished morale and motivation amongst the staff. In the Bible, it says, without vision, the people perish. Without guiding principles and goals and objectives, staff see no reason to do what they're doing. This will cause organizations to simply manage momentum instead of getting out ahead of problems and challenges. We see this often when organizations that get consumed with putting out fires instead of looking to and planning for the future. Reason number three, ill-equipped board of directors. Many organizations fail to recruit qualified board members or neglect to train current board members. Growing organizations need board members who are good leaders and can guide and direct a nonprofit down the path to success. Ill-equipped boards fail to understand their role in fundraising and development 
and often either micromanage leadership or stay so far away that they are no help at all. Effective board members understand how to be a resource to staff and leadership and know their fiduciary responsibilities when it comes to raising and spending of donations to organizations. Countless board members are simply out of their league when it comes to directing a new or startup organization or taking a startup to the next level of growth. Reason number four, lack of staffing to accomplish the mission. Too often, nonprofit leaders lack the understanding of how to manage and lead staff and volunteers. That creates a toxic environment. Others are so obsessed with cutting spending that they either don't spend to hire the right staff or don't pay adequately the ones they do have. They believe it's a badge of honor to live on a shoestring budget. This often comes back to money. Many leaders don't like or aren't trained to raise money. So they keep expenses intentionally low or try to do everything on the cheap. No organization that I'm aware of ever cut their way to success. I once worked for a former businessman who was known for starting and shutting down business ventures. He got so far over his head in a leadership position with the nonprofit that he started cutting to the bone because he didn't know how to lead with vision. The organization started to falter and would have failed had senior leadership not stepped in and removed this person from his position. Many nonprofits and even individuals have decided to live on the bare minimum because that's perceived as easier than having to raise the money necessary to keep activities fully functioning. Tracy E. Barb eloquently stated in our article mentioned earlier, when we do that, we are actually perpetuating and encouraging a race to the bottom mentality where success is measured by how little we spend, not by the impact we had. She quotes Wayne Elsby from his book, The Rise and Fail of Charities in the 21st Century, by saying, nonprofits should not be having a conversation with donors about how little they're spending. They should instead be speaking to them about how much impact they're having relative to their budget. Oh, I couldn't agree wholeheartedly enough with both of them. We're not about the business of begging for money. We're about sharing opportunities for involvement and about making a difference in the world. If your organization is having trouble, commit to raising the money to get success. That means introducing individuals to the opportunities available through giving to your programs and projects. Reason number five, not seeing development as a priority. There are too many leaders who see development as a necessary evil, something that they don't want to do but believe they must do. They believe that getting money is simple or the process of raising money as of so little value that they fail to properly fund the efforts. They somehow forget that it takes money to make money. I've seen leaders appreciate it when money comes in but fail to fund it. This would be equivalent to taking your harvest to market, buying tractors and new barn equipment with the proceeds, but failing to buy enough seed for next year's crop. Other leaders have a more bricks, less straw approach to fundraising. They want more money raised each year, but don't believe the efforts should be funded properly. Development staff should be paid adequately, commensurate with experience, and programs should be funded adequately. Number six, uncontrolled spending or poor money management. Some nonprofit leaders never learn to manage their money properly at home or in business, and as a result, fail to manage money in their nonprofit. They fail to plan ahead for the lean months and spend money frivolously in the prosperous months. Proper money management is essential as the leader of a nonprofit. I knew a nonprofit organization that lived throughout the year on a line of credit from the bank. They tapped into the line of credit all year and prayed that they would get enough money at year end to replenish the line and start back up again, spending down the line in January. This is a terrible and even terrifying way to run an organization. Every nonprofit organization should have a qualified accountant or bookkeeper who has a track record of good money management for an organization the size of your organization. Organizations fail for any number of reasons, but the six I've mentioned, lack of mission, poor planning, lack of staffing, failure to value development, and uncontrolled spending seem to be the most common. If your organization is less than 10 years old or if you're new to senior leadership in an older organization on the downhill side, be on guard for these areas of concern and see them as warning signs that your organization might be headed down the path to destruction. Seek the advice of wise counsel and other leaders who are further down the road than you. Watch videos like those on this channel for ways to grow your income and plan and staff your organization for success. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below. If you feel better about your organization or worse, or if you still have anxiety, let me know that as well. If you aren't already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. That's very important. Don't avoid the lessons you'll learn from difficult situations. Learn from them. Just know I'll be here to help if you need me. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you. See you in the next video.